Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. Good afternoon. Welcome to Saturday, December 5. Open Gate Show analysis for the Thunder Race meet. Lots of things went on today at Caymanos Park. But the Monday recap show, there is so much to tell you. So make sure you tune in. Tomorrow's card, Sunday race card. And you should know that for the rest of 2020, you'll be having double race meets all the way through. Tomorrow, 10 races post time, 11.30 a.m. First race is for Nidabed Trios and up and being restricted earning. 11 starters, they go six and a half furlongs or 1300 meters. Number one, Daytona Bell was whispered on last, but showed up in the earlies and faded 14 and 8. She was coming off a brief respite. The tongue time figure it is on now. Let's see what Daytona Bell will do. Number two, cupcake. Not only Christmas cake can be eaten at this time but cupcakes also, so she can upset, as I like how she looked this week. Let's see how good she is. Number four, undecided, ran a couple of hours ago today. Trainer Patrick Lynch is one of the top trainers. He knows best. Cardenas gets the call. Number four, Queen Queen Destiny, looking up in condition. Number six, creating chaos. Gotten some support on the tote on many occasions without showing anything. Could surprise, but I wish I'd seen him of late, as it's not ever horses that I can see. Number eight, cup of soup, looking improved and could be part of the outcome. Number 10, it is now. Is it? Well, let's see. Well, uh, she will be in the top four. And um, obviously, it could run on in what should be a very slow pace. A lot of these three old maidens have better hurry up. The, the three old maiden purse money, it's good. But in January the 1st, when they all turn four, the purse is almost in half. Strange race is first race, with the top jockeys all on some strong mounts. Strange mount, I should say, mounts, I should say. I'm figuring some connections here <clears throat> are waiting on this condition race to seek a win before January 1st, 2021. I'm selecting number four on the side, it's for number eight, cup of soup. Number 12, cupcake. No, sorry, not number 12, cupcake. Number two, cupcake. Well, two two cup, two cakes in this. Number one, date on the bell. Number 10, it is now. So it's number four, undecided. Number eight, cup of soup. Number two, cupcake. Number one, date on the bell. Number 10, it is now. I don't like it is now to win, but could factor in the lower section of your high five. Second race for Native Bread Trios and up. It's, no, not, it's the Native Bread Trios only. It's a major condition race. Nine, nine starters, they go six and a half, four and a half, 1300 meters. It's this Dr. Clifford Gray Memorial Cup. Dr. Gray, a very stern veterinarian, a good man. I knew this man and his, his children, Dougie, Dougie, Donna, and Richard, from us going to primary school. And I usually went to their home over uh, near Hope Gardens and had a lot of Bombay mangoes. They moved to Sanders, where Rich, Dr. Gray taught Wayne Costa, myself, Simon Croskill, and our crew how to play badminton. He had a badminton court at his home. Very nice gentleman, his, his good wife and his kids. The Open Gate Show hopes that your soul is at peace. All right, number one, triple seven has speed, but what else could hold for a low exotic spot? Number two, ultimatum. 
uh, well-bred filly who was brought here, was born here in Utah, has put on a bit of weight and sheen as well. So she should run a better race. Was burning up the exercise track before the COVID era. And something has gone amiss with this one. Number three, Lady Bassetor, what is she doing in this race? She should be in the race in race one, where she has a great chance to win in a condition race. Well, anyway, that's beside the point here. Lady Bassetor has looked and worked much better since Cheney's tables two weeks ago. She could find a place in, however. Number four, Shaboom, regular racer who is, who is consistent. Maybe she doesn't like to win for now. Well, you see. Number five, Commandante Luna coming along and will need a few more races. Number six, K Boy having his third career run in two and a half weeks. A medium build but very strong looking cord who should, who showed value in both starts. Uh, should improve and have a winning chance with the Nelson board. Number seven, Angelus, looking a bit better, but we need this race. We'll have first time blinkers for tomorrow's race. Number nine, no identity, very unfortunate on last. Would have won if the jockey didn't try to hold his balance and eventually fell. Just passing the winning post. I'm appointed to think uh, the horse was spooked by the jockey changing his whip. Well, the cheap pieces are on for the first time. In Europe, this equipment is used to restrict the horse seeing the expected impact of the whip, as well as to a lesser extent, limit vision exactly behind. Yes, blinkers or visor does the, does the same, but some horses just don't like anything over their forehead. Let's see how many times more the Open Gate show will be correct. Number nine, no identity. Number six, K-Boy. Number four, Shaboom. Number three, Lady Bastopor. Number two, Ultimatum. Third race, go six and a half furlong again, 1,300 meters, 11 starters. This is for Needle Bread Shields only and made restricted earnings, section two. Number one, Priscilla's boy has run four times displaying erratic behavior in all. Has looked a bit improved recently, but has that issue hanging over his head. Number two, Silent Cat, June Brett Gelding, another here who is looking okay of recent, but not much in order to have a winning chance, but could get into the low exotics. Number three, purposely, the open gate show it gave you this one the last twice she ran saying she is looking much improved of recent she ran fifth at 991 and came back after which is her last race at 21 to 1 and ran third by three quarter length still looking good and can win if only she's in the same stead as last as on, as on last, which was three weeks ago, with that third place, a good finish. Number four, Mighty Chelsea, not much shown so far in nine starts. And all cheer maidens, as I say, will better try and win a race because the purse money as a four year old is not much. Number five, these choice has been kept up, it has been kept up at the size. Number seven, above all links. Came showing value the second run of a eight month hiatus when going a furlong less than tomorrow's distance, finishing a length second to smoke A's two weeks ago. Well bred but narrow length, lengthy filly who won't be perturbed by this journey will be able to relax and should be much fitter this time for uh, for, for only a four career start. Number eight, wifey said so, could factor somewhere in the top four. Number 10, persistent one, making a six career start and on two occasions got good support on the board. Both displays were way below expectations. The only time she showed use was a second place finish 
to the out of class flip Fianna chain salvation out the straight and in that race persistent one was two lengths in front of next out winner ocean wave that race where she ran second she went over 99 to 1 so not much super confidence first time tongue tie and stretching out then nelson he gets the call one of these number seven above all links well i prefer i prefer that one just for number three purposely number one precedence boy number eight wife is so number ten persistent one race four eight starters five and a half or 1100 meters for so fours and up who have never won four races in their lifetime one of two here for trainer owner owen sharp that's number one he can dance haven't done since breaking his maiden one year ago out the straight hey i'm just mentioning that okay i shouldn't even be saying anything about the horse he has no no chance number two victory Richard, Richard turn uh scored a good win last week over this exact trip coming off a of five month respite she must have benefited from that race and she is bred very well to improve my only concern is she has been working well she's been looking very fractitious since Adagasai since that last race of which she was very calm as Job going into the into that into that victorious race last week while when she was working for that race you know she was very quiet unlike what I'm seeing after this race so with return it's your it, it's your choice number three nevada the other owen shape owen sharp entry who will be closing best of all especially behind especially being paper light number four latterly gets the nelson over a trip that it should be unsuited number five here of fire will be in the top four number eight beach boy last two were good enough to have a chance to win Number three, Nevada. Number eight, Beach Boy. Number five, Here on Fire. Number four, Latape. Number two, Vic Return. If she returns a like that race last week, she will win. If I could see her tomorrow en route to the starting gates, that would be okay. This is why you should have people who know about horse, horses analyzing each race during the race meet. Number race five, 11 starters, nine from 25 yards or 820 meters. It's for fours and up. We have never won two races. Number one, sweet surprise, stretching out two turns for the second time. It's bred to get the distance. Broker maiden beating much better than these at six and a half furlongs on Boxing Day last season. Number two, St. Michael, not sure how uh he will relish going two turns but he ran well enough at a mile to finish one and a half length second where he had all the top ones here behind has a featherweight to tote and you know should have a very good chance and i'm expecting a big one from saint michael Number three, Thunder Strike had good form before breaking her maiden on the 19th of September, making it uh, a pole to pole affair. She again facing a few nemesis and could use her good pace for an advantage, even with seldom used veteran jockey Trevor Johnson. Number four, Divine Lexi, Anthony Nunes entry, who is another to have won her first race over this two-turn course better than most opponents here then came off almost a 10-month hiatus last week showing zero so divine left it should be better for the run number five funky fashion did the funky dance for connections when breaking her maiden two weeks ago number six c cruise privately sold after this after his last race on november 14th Looking in better condition and experiencing 9 from 25 yards for the first time, his fitness 
is suspect by me, even though one of the earliest in the on the exercise track in the mornings, and I don't possess night vision as in yesteryears, but it's likely he ain't fit at least at present. Number eight out on a limb. One of two here for trainer Wayne Parchment, of which both his entries will be attempting this two turn trip for the first time. Number nine, Nes per se is the other parchment entrant. Broke his main at a mile, beating number eleven, hard working man in a head bob. Should get a distance and uh, stable mate number eight out on a limb could ensure a good pace is set for Ness Percy to run on up the stretch. Number 10, Miss Azel, yet another to have had his first taste of victory at a mile. Uh, she ran a very good second to number four, Divine Lexi, over this distance of 9 furlong 25 yards on the 18th of January and followed up to win that 8 furlong race, breaking her maiden. Is she in the same zone now? Maybe, but I'm not sure how total she is at present. Number 11 hardworking man still on order to gain his first win at a mile. As good form then, but not in the present vein. Top four on credentials. Number one, Sweet Surprise. Number two, St. Michael. Number four, Divine Lexi. Number nine, Ness Percy. Number three, Thunder Strike. Race six. Before I get to race six, let me remind listeners of the Open Gate Show. When I analyze, I expect for you to go further and look and make your selection of what I, of, of the analogy that I have given. I'm not that good in selecting three horses on a race day. And you know, there have been a lot of people calling me and everything. I mean, I, I would love to help, but all you need to do, man, is listen to the show. For example, today, show i mentioned how super Lumina looked that he has looked he's back to himself and you know he must be given a very good chance i also mentioned several horses today that ran well or even won at good odds listen please six race 14 starters five from straight or a thousand meters straight for native bed fives and up with number one three races for uh, number one, Donald Trog only had one run this season so far. That was in Ju on July 12th, getting two to one on the toad, going four for long straight. Broke, broke slowly in that race and finished 10 and 10th. Love the straight, but, but, but. Number two, Chris Hanley has had frequent runs coming off a layoff and getting lots of support at times. And it, it doesn't show anything. Riddle me this, riddle me that, get this riddle. He is well, but perhaps not. If he is well, then it's an early Christmas present for connections. What's your guess? We go to number three, Pirat. He's seeking a hat-trick of wins. Trainer Patrick Lynch is teaching how a good trainer wins with ordinary horses. Approximately 93% of the current trainers can't do that. Signature of wins again is tougher though, this pure heart, and he, he, he will have to settle for a, a minus slot. Before she says yes, last time she said yes was on July 26th. Her last two starts were very encouraging and she should say yes again, but will she win? As she should be more focused at least than that, last, that, than that good one last week when she got 42 to 1. Number four, Golden Emperor, only needs to break better out the gates to get into the low exotics. Number six, Estelita, uh, has the military pirate to overcome. Number seven, Sacrifice. Uh, one of two here for trainer Fitz, Fitzgerald Richards. Slick customer did Sacrifice, who ran second price out this course already 
Number eight, it's a wrap. Didn't do all that badly over this course. Uh, and last, must be fitting now. And already one coming out this five for them straight down the trip. I think this horse needs to be made a fitter though. But don't be surprised if the wrap gets into your exotics. Number nine ride with the mob, the other Fitzgerald Richards entry, who ran with stablemate number seven sacrifice last week and did well to finish one off length third to Ethan Beaver and Cora, while that one was weakening into ninth place. I'm speaking of sacrifice. I didn't like how this one returned to the unsagging enclosure. So I'm expecting a better run from sacrifice, unlike number nine stablemate right with the mob here. Number 10, Blue Attitude was only three quarter length second to Don, Don, Doom Patrol and three lengths in front of Quantum Dancer, who recently best a fair field of horses out the straight. Number 11, Luminous Power, fairly consistent Gelding, who should find a low exotic placing. Number 12, Coita del Exito, ran out the straight three times, showing nothing. It's coming off just over a three month respite, doing most of her work in the equine pool and at the beach. Loves it fresh and although okay against, and although ran okay against better in the past, I am bypassing her here, at least for a win. Number 13, just say a word. Tried to say the word last week when leading up to the furlong point before weakening three and a half and fourth to Ethan by Evan Coe and ride with the mob, going seven furlongs. Run third over this route in only attempt there. Decent chance with Ahmed Robles tomorrow. Number 14, Big Dream, speedy animal who is well drawn, has been having issues holding its gallop. Number two, Chris Hanley. From number four, she says yes. Number seven, sacrifice. Number 13, just say the word. That's the top four here. For the exotics, number three, pure art. And number 10, blue attitude. Let me project again why I, feel I, I analyze so many horses in each race. You have people who play the trifecta and superfecta and I-5, as well as some who likes to buy outsiders. So, I'm just giving my opinion. You can't please everyone, but you know, you please some and displease some. And those that you displease, you will please them some in some other way. All right, let's get to race seven. For trills and up, claiming tag 770,000. Nine starters, they go a mile or 1,600 meters. Number one, innovator. Run well enough on last over this distance. And um, when he f finished third, five lengths behind Princess Anne and Dante, down a notch in the claiming ranks, and is ex I'm now expected to be more focused this time around, especially with the Nelson board. Number two, leak out was two lengths in fifth place behind Innovator on last. That's a similar race that Prince Anne won with Dante finishing second. Uh, was unlucky at this tag when half a length second behind Secret Traveler on October the 17th. Would have won that race. You know, very unfortunate. I'm expecting a leak out to try and come. Good for this race, but it's likely to find Innovator in a mean mood. Number three, Pleasant Secret up in claim after that second place finish to key witness at, at six and a half furlongs, but if lightly weighted and if fit, should be on the board. Number four, Kawalondo. Look good when sneaking a fast workout on the back stretch in the dark towards the morning. Another who steps up in claim, but could still factor somewhere in your exotics. Number six, Salah. Shocking, he was claimed for a million dollars on August 15th. He has not looked the part since and has been active at the beach and equine pool a plenty. However, it's from a barn that can make them come alive. Number seven, Royal Vibes, taking, uh, taking train around Derby a while to have this 10-year-old being competitive. Well, 
Hovercraft, Healy, showed a lot of dash today. Trainer Ryan Darby, his entries, you can't afford to underestimate. Uh, Royal Vibes is the second claim from Wayne Acosta, Overcraft of recent, Overcraft of the other. Royal Vibes, he looked well galloping six furlongs on the 29th of November in 116 flat. Number nine, Azario, been a while she hasn't performed, but must not be totally ignored. Gary Griffiths, he's been starting a lot of horses, but is under a cloud. He will wake up soon. Number one, for me, Innovator. From number two, Woody Cout. Number seven, Royal Vibes. Number four, Carolando. Three, Pleasant Secret. And you could talk. Talk number nine, Azara, in, in, uh, in the lower order of your exotics. Eight race, the Sunnyside Stakes. Sunnyside Stakes is one of the oldest trail races at Camelot Park. This trail race is for Phillies only. It's made a special way. At 14 starters, they go the minimum round trip of five furlongs. Four debutants, those that have exercised a plenty in company, have a distinct advantage. That's why top trainers always have the edge over the small trainer. Because these babies, they, it's, it's best for them at times to work in groups. Small trainer hasn't much horses to do that. Anyway, number one, Silver Soul uh, will need more time. Number two, Letters in Gold. First of two here for Gary Griffiths, the most experienced horse here, but sh shows nothing as yet. Number three, Turn on the Light, the other Gary Griffiths horse. Um, I've improved a bit since the debut run on October 11th. Number four, let's get it on. We'll take some time. Number five, Tequila Blue. Showed some value when last time with first time Lasix. Um, stretching out to a mile in that race. Now it's cutting back over the minimum round court with first time blinkers for Egeri Sebrati. Number six, Lady Commander. Uh, yet to show her worth and may try doing so tomorrow. Number seven, Bridal Blush, a debutant by Sensational Slam out of Johnny Batiste by Spring at Last. This February 11th Bay Philly was bred by Elite Bloodstock Limited. Owner Richard Zan, Dr. Graham Brown and Edison Chai. Omar Walker gets the call for Richard Zan. Well-bred, muscled filly who resembles a colt. She can run to figure in the top four here. No equipment, no Lasics for her debut. That's interesting. Incidentally, Trina Richard Azan doesn't really have them geared up for their first run. Number eight, Fighting Cowgirl, another debutant, born the 1st of May at Chestnut Philly by Margaret Rally, out of Cat Fight Cowgirl by Cowtown Cat, bred by Ham Farms Limited. Owner, Hamark Farms, groom Richard Jones, Ian Spence gets the call for the great. Philip Fiani. This horse is bred to prefer beyond five furlongs. Has been around for quite a while. I've displayed some good use of the exercise on the exercise track and should do the same tomorrow. We'll have Lasix for her debut. Number nine, Amy the Butcher, very small filly who is working okay with the tongue tie and could get a very, very low exotic spot. Number 10, Show Curling. Showed up with some speed two weeks ago when fitted with first time blinkers and was leading up to the furlong point and weakened a bit to be four and a half and fifth to calculus going six furlongs. Gary Sobrati, he trained this one for Michael Bernard. Number 11, seven stars, a debutant, a June 1st born filly, groomed by Carlton Brown, is by He's the Real Thing, out of Gogo -Go Train by Western Traffic, breeder Victor Bright, owner and trainer Louis Richards, small late bred filly who can run, been around for a while, 
long while, I should say, and make for a belated debut, could produce an upset as she's very speedy. No Lasix, but gets the tongue on, tongue tie on for her first start. Number 12, Justin Blessing. Uh, continue to be kept up on her thighs, and she'll be having her fifth career start with the with first time tongue tie tomorrow. Looking very sharp at her thighs, and I'm expecting her to do well. Number 13, Medical Mood, a debutant, born the 21st of March, just in Philly by Fred's vision out of Lady the lady scored by even score bread out valley estate limited owner by christian Sagan mirage groom tamari brand the nelson rise for the leading trainer and current champion trainer anthony nunes i find this really very interesting but i'm not expecting this one to win will have latex and tongue tie for her debut Number 14, Awesome Choice, uh, well-bred filly who, whose first two career starts were pleasing, but those after were very disappointed. Gets them tie and visor off, can run on, but she has to be in that zone as in those two August run. A race that has, well, should have a lot of speed, and I must emphasize once again, you have horses that work alone, they will go well. But in a race, when a horse comes up beside them, be, they, they, they get nervous or, you know, uncomfortable. So, as I said, bear in mind that these top trainers who have a big barn and work their horses in twos and trees. Uh, babies, big field, lots of speed. Anything can happen. Number eight, Fighting Cowgirl. Number 10, Show Curling. Number seven, Bridal Brush. Number 12, Justin Blessing. Number 11, Seven Star are my top ones. Number 13, Magical Mode she could be part of the Low Exotics. Race nine, eight starters. Nine for 25 yards or 820 meters for trails and up imported chills and up as well as native bread chills who have never won three races in your lifetime number one tomahawk travails this two turn trip four times now one there just over three weeks ago and played second twice with one third so tomahawk loves this course has more to find though for a win Number two, awesome treasure. First of three for trainer Gary Sobrati here. Uh, run below expectations with first time Lasix on last. Is stretching out to a distance she is bred to enjoy, but may have another date in mind to be more focused. Maybe, you know, you know getting another run against Stephen made another affair and the new train one of a kind. This American bread filly can improve and do well. So don't be surprised if she comes, if she fight it out for the top two or three. Number three, one of a kind, very consistent cold, won't get enough pace to close at for a win, but could be up in the early, well, could be earlier in the pace of which it would get one of a kind's rhythm out of sync. Anyway, give your trios and they can improve. We'll take on another affair once again. Number four favorite is uh, from the stables of Gary Sobrati. Uh, came tuned to win last week. Has more to find against these, but could find a very low exotic spot. Number five, another fair, improving filly who ventures on two turns again. Very liable and should take advantage by controlling the pace against main rivals, one of a kind, and awesome treasure. Number six, 
Chinamax, 57 kilos against some good chills in a simple tax and should have it tough. Number five, another affair. Number one, number three, one of a kind. Number two, awesome choice. Final race, six start, eight, 16 starters. Six for all more travel and meters before treatment up. Optional claiming 200, 250,000 with five rows of number one, two races, as well as six rows who have never won four races in their lifetime. Number one, Kunama, kept up at a size and could get a low exotic spot at good odds. Number two, Boss Izzy, close from afar to get within a length behind El Clante here. Union four and show court. Uh, when he ran fourth, run as expected last week against Beto. Now back to where he belongs against usual rivals, Boss Izzy will be part of the top five. Number three, reassurance ran well in all five starts this season and gets back the jockey who knows her well, that's Giovanni Patterson. Won her last race at this distance with this rider two months ago, beating a reasonable field in that class. Number five, El Cliente, one of two entries for trainer Stephen Todd, came wide on the turn after being thrown away for a good win. He gets a more accomplished apprentice in O'Shea Nugent and could make this two in a row. We go to number six, Top Eager. This old stager, well, I shouldn't say old stager, he's only, he's only seven, and these horses, their average age in this class is seven years old. Anyway, uh, could factor somewhere in the low order of your I-5. Number seven, Alexis Starr, came off a four-month break, has a few issues to overcome, even though, uh, you know, Omar Walker is on, on board and is down for a low claim. Interesting, Omar Walker still remains on this horse after that last run, where he finished seven, five lengths, behind a little better than these. Number nine, first selection, was expected a better follow-up on, on last after that good win before that, over going seven furlongs. Could rebound and be a part of the exotics. Number 10, Badi Romundo, father and son, jockey trainer, Maria Kong, a jo- uh, an apprentice, was not one of the races yet. For his dad, Albert, good luck to you, gentlemen. Number 11, General Mubarak could find a place Number 12, Court of Arms, uh, could need, well, should need this race. Number 13, Musketoon, good chance, even with 57 kilos. Number 14, Treasure Chain, don't discount for a high placing. Number 15, Lady Budget, looking okay when seen on the racetrack. Number 16, Papa Albert, will try to lead. Six furlongs, maybe out of his reach. But pretty light, Paul Francis rides for Ryan Derby. Number five, though, El Cliente, four number three, reassurance, number two, Boss Izzy, number 13, Musketo, number nine, first selection. Uh, my top three selection on the card, I don't like doing this, but I've been asked to by a lot of fans. So here goes third race, number seven, above all links, seventh race, number one, Innovator, ninth race, number five, another is here. Remember, tomorrow, uh, no, sorry, remember on Monday, I'll have a recap show and I have a lot to say on today's race meet as well as what will transpire on tomorrow's Sunday card. Take care. I wish you all the best of luck. Uh, this is Mahalia Cohen. The Open Gates show is a very educational very informative it gives you pure insights from trusted sources I introduce to you a trusted source of water pure water tasty well purified drink pure water to keep your body healthy and strong 
So freshen up today with a brisk cool bottle of pure water. Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. 